Polyfire here. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Ruger 9A. Now, the 9A is pretty much the cheaper model of the Ruger SR9. Um, but before we get into more talking, we'll just get into the review. So, the box, kind of junk, but it says it's white and it says Ruger. Empty cartridge that we're never going to use. Here is the gun, chamber check. The magazine and the gun are clear. Box, it is standard. I'm not going to spend very long talking on the box, which actually I'm not going to spend any time talking about the box. But here's the gun. Now, first glance, you think it is just a Ruger SR9 black, but it is actually the 9A, and it says so right here right there, but I doubt if you can see that. At the end, we may put a slideshow of pictures in to show some of the details, but um, really, the mags of an SR9 and the 90, they interchange, so that's a good point. Um, it feels just like an SR9. Put one of these in one hand, the SR9 in the other, you ain't gonna be able to tell the difference. The slides and the lowers actually do interchange. So if you want to put a stainless slide on here, if you have an SR9 and are thinking about getting a 9E, all your parts will interchange. The only, to me, the biggest difference in between the two is actually this one does not have the loaded chamber indicator flag. Now it does have a little slot in between the barrel and the slide which you can look down and see if you see brass. Some people would rather have the big flag, some people would not. But, like I said, ain't got the big flag. To me, that is the biggest difference. Um, my opinion, these sights, which are the not sights, are actually better than some of this are non sights, in my opinion. But, I mean, spec-wise, it's 27 ounces, pretty much same as this are non. The slots in it are cut differently. They're just like a different type. They're a little bit wider, fewer of them. I don't know why they did that different, but hey, now these I'm seeing at very cheap prices. Um, I've seen these at Royal King for about 275 bucks, which keep in mind the SR9s are selling for about four. So that's over a hundred dollars difference and it to me is a flag worth a hundred dollars I mean safety's the same um, I'll bring you in and we'll do a closer look at a disassembly here in a minute but like I said magazines are change the biggest thing is that 90 comes with one the SR9 comes with two but mags are thirty dollars so is seventy dollars worth the big flag and keep in mind the flag could possibly get hung on your shirt your holster or something so to me i would personally rather not have the flag but one good time when you have that flag that pops up is when you are training a new shooter so then you know that the gun is loaded but i'll bring in on a good close look up and we'll do a disassembly so now we're going to do the disassembly. Now the first step in all disassemblies, no matter what you're disassembling, if you're disassembling a firearm is chamber check, which we know it's clear, but we're going to chamber check. Magazine is clear. Chamber is clear. So the first step, don't need your mag, is pull your slide back, lock it, now you're gonna see down in there that there is a thing sticking out right there, which I just flipped down. I hope you can see that. Um, I'll flip it back up so you can get a good view of it, but all you do is flip it down, push this out, and then get your thumb in there. Or if some of you cannot get your thumb in, use a little small screwdriver. There's your pin. Now, Hold on to your slide, bring it forward, 
just like that and like all other semi-automatic handguns take it apart that is your basic components to your breakdown that, that is a field strip put it back together is just as easy and this tape down is going to be pretty much the same on all handguns except this right here is standard for most handguns now how it goes back on the gun and what holds the slide on the gun that's on vary from every different gun but on the sr9 and the 9a that is the same so i just slid the gun the slide back onto the lower put the pin in and we're good to go but just in case this happens to anybody when you pull the trigger nothing it is totally not doing anything and you gotta manually reset it re reset the trigger even if you pull the slide back what is wrong did i do something wrong no remember that thing i told you to push down earlier that well that just re-enabled the gun. Now it is back functioning properly. Now this gun, just like the SR9, you cannot shoot unless the firing pin is disabled, unless the magazine is in. But I'll take you back out and we'll talk a little bit more. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention about the Ruger SR9A was the safety and the fact that when it, the safety is engaged, that pretty much keeps the slide from coming back and it disables the firing pin to where, well, you can't pull the trigger. Safety on. It blocks the trigger. So, the gun is pretty much locked up. But, other than that, um, I would give this gun a, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 7. Because, I take that back, I would give it an 8. Because, well, for the value of the gun, we have not had this thing jam once. Haven't had it happen once. Knock on wood, never want to jam on me, but this thing is a bomb. It, you shoot it, you shoot it, it keeps on going. We've shot five to a thousand rounds out of this thing, and like I said, not one misfire, or jam, or stovepipe, or anything. So, um, in a future video, I'll get the SR9 and the 90, and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But other than that, um, have a good day. Shoot safe. God bless you.